earlier this year, I watched that movie named Civil War. I saw it when it first came out. I had 20 taco points. I'll, I'll post some of this right here. And I didn't want to post it public because I just kept it for myself because when I watched that movie Civil War, I'm thinking about this right now as it pertains to what just happened. You know, we are, you and I were half an inch away from a Civil War. You didn't think you and I were half an inch away from a Civil War? I'm talking about the half an inch from the bullet going through Trump's ear into going into his brain or sadly through his ear and sadly killed a man protecting his family. And some of y'all say it's staged. Well, hey, does somebody want to set up a stage to sacrifice his own life just to play off the stage and be an actor in a staging process? I don't know, I don't think so. So America, this cannot be an okay thing. This cannot be a thing that you and I just say, oh, okay, every rally, every political event, now we're gonna expect shootings. And think about what's going on with Trump. They went to character assassination attempt him. And character assassination attempt his friends around him, his network, that failed. They went to assassinate his finances, that failed. They went to assassinate his political career by suing him, putting him in court. That failed. And now, the only thing that's potentially gonna work is you have to physically kill the guy? Is that the way you and I want our America to be known for? That makes us a third world country. Is that the land and the country, the home that you and I want to live in? A third world country where the rule of law is being bullied? People have the biggest guns? Is that the world that you want to live in? I don't think so. The land of the home, the free and the brave to live a life of pursuing happiness without having to avoid being shot and killed for your ideal of what freedom is. So you and I are walking to very, very turbulent times. But this is a moment for you. Number one is to stay focused and clear and keep an eye on your current mission. And if you don't have a current mission, you better find one. Guess what? There's opportunities in turbulation. There's opportunities in turbulent times. There's opportunities in chaos. I've always found opportunities and chaos. You know why? Because in times of chaos, guess what people are looking for? Leaders. You don't have to serve in the military to be a leader. You don't have to serve a, in, in, in policy, policy makers or politicians to be a leader. You have to be a pastor to be a leader. Today, you can decide to become a leader. And guess what happens when you decide to become a leader? You stand up for the things that you believe in and confidence to know that people are going to rally to that cause too as well and also be willing to accept when people that don't believe in that or feel that you crossing a line that they leave you to as well. Well, that means being a leader. And I pray and hope that your leadership is based on the right morals, values, and principles.